And well, moving on to some big news just coming in. There's reports of firing inside the SMHS hospital in Srinagar. One policeman has uh, reportedly been killed in the shooting. A policeman has also been injured. The firing took place when the policemen were accompanying a suspect for medical checkup. The suspect managed to escape during the firing. This is uh, the big news, in fact, that is just coming in from uh, a Srinagar hospital. Well, we on correspondent Khalid Shah now joins us over the phone line. With Khalid, the, if you can just throw more light on what exactly is happening at this hospital. Uh, well, yes, indeed, suspected militants seem to have fired inside the hospital premises of SNHS Hospital in Srinagar, uh, where a Pakistani militant was being taken to uh, uh, some medical help, medical assistance. Uh, the uh, firing happened inside the hospital premises in which two of the cops who were uh, escorting this uh, Pakistani militant to the uh, hospitals have received uh, critical injuries. One of them is believed to be dead. Another is still critical. He has received uh, several bullet shots, one in the abdomen. The police has cordoned off the entire area. It is believed that the Pakistani militant has fled off. Uh, the cordoned area, uh, cordoned area has been uh, blocked for any transportation. And now uh, the police is trying to catch this uh, militant who fled away. Right, uh, Khalid, uh, what is the situation now as far as these militants go? How many of them are there inside the hospital? Has the situation been neutralized now? Well, it is believed that they have fled away uh, with the Pakistani militant. That's why the area has been cordoned off. Search operations are going on in the entire area uh, to trace these uh, militants and then possibly uh, catch them once again. Uh, this is a big attack inside the hospital premises. In Senegal, we haven't seen uh, such a big terror attack happening inside uh, Srinagar city for uh, many months now. So clearly a big worry for security forces who are now on the job uh, to map these uh, uh, shooters. Right, and, and anything that we know about this hospital, how many patients were inside at the time of the attack and the kind of risk uh, that they were facing because of uh, this militant attack? This is the second biggest hospital in Srinagar, uh, which tends to patients not just from Srinagar city but from uh, other areas. Uh, there is no exact number as to how many patients are uh, attended at this hospital, but clearly the number does go in thousands. It's a very busy hospital of uh, Srinagar, as I told you, the second biggest hospital of Srinagar. Clearly, the life of civilians also at risk. There is a lot of chaos at the hospital right now, uh, but uh, the police now seem to have gotten off the area to bring the situation back to center. Right, uh, Khalid. Also, if you can tell us if, if at the moment, of course, the news is just coming in, but if we know anything about this militant suspect who has managed to escape and who was taken away by his uh, co-militants. Uh, as of now, there, is, there are no details regarding that. Uh, the police is collecting more details and uh, informing us accordingly. Uh, so far, the situation right now is uh, very uh, tense in the hospital. Uh, we'll be back to you with more updates as and when we get there. Right, uh, Khalid Shah, we'll uh, come back to you as and when there are updates. But uh, this is the big story, in fact, that we're tracking this hour. Uh, where at a Srinagar hospital, which is also the second biggest hospital of uh, Srinagar, militants attacked and have killed one police official, whereas another is believed to be in a critical condition. This is the SMHS hospital, and the incident took place when policemen were escorting a suspect, and uh, the suspect has also managed to escape following the attack. Well, uh, Khalid, now coming back to you, you uh, did tell us that the entire area has uh, co has been cordoned off, but if you can just throw more light on what exactly is the situation there, there how much of the area has been cordoned off, uh, we understand that there is a lot of tension present on ground as well. Uh, well, yes, indeed, it's a densely populated area. Uh, the police have so far uh, cordoned off the area in and around the hospital uh, where they are conducting uh, search operations of the vehicles coming by and uh, going past that area. Uh, so far, that is, those, that, those are the details that we can share with you right now. But uh, uh, clearly, it's a critical situation because the firing incident took place inside the hospital. Many years back, there was a similar incident in which uh, another top commander was, was in the, uh, uh, escaped uh, in, a, in an attack where militants fired. And that particular Pakistani militant is still uh, in Pakistan. Clearly, a big worry for Pakistan, for the police personnel because they had maps of Pakistani terrorists. We don't have exact details of who this person is, what sort of attack he was involved in. 
But yes, indeed, it's a big worry for uh, security forces at the moment. Right, uh, and also is there heavy checking going on at the moment because uh, it's not just people within the hospital who are in danger. Of course, they have escaped from the hospital, but there is, as you mentioned, it's a densely populated area and it will be extremely tricky, tricky for the security officials uh, to comb the entire area to uh, arrest those who have been involved in this attack. Oh, well, yes, indeed, there is chaos at the hospital at the moment because... Uh, thousands of patients were there at the hospital and this incident of firing has clearly shaken them up. And also for the security forces, we need to cordon off the entire area and make sure that these uh, terrorists are well within the cordoned area. And that's why, as I told you, it's a very uh, critical situation for the cops right now because uh, this happened uh, in a GP because uh, as soon as the firing happened, these uh, militants managed to uh, uh, fly away. And that's why uh, we'll have to wait and see whether the police will be successful in nabbing them once again. Right, and also it seems like it was a very well-planned out attack. They knew exactly when the suspect was being brought into the hospital. They knew when to attack him and escape right on time. And it, it seems to have happened in the span of just a few minutes there. Well, yes, indeed. It does seem like a planned attack because uh, the detail, the movement of these cops must have been uh, leaked somehow, which is what caused this attack because... Without the exact information, it, were, it would have been very difficult for these suspected militants to carry out this uh, attack and uh, really uh, manage the escape of uh, the uh, NAP terrorists. So clearly a big worry for the forces at the moment. The area, as I told you, has been pardoned off. They're trying to search and comb the area, try to uh, catch the culprits. Uh, situation remains tense as the second cop is also critical. He's undergoing treatment at the same hospital. There is added deployment of the security forces at the hospital. We'll have to wait and see uh, what further details will come off uh, as the events unfold. Right, uh, Khaled. In fact, uh, this is uh, the big news that we're tracking this hour. Suspected militants have uh, fired upon a police party accompanying a prisoner at the Sri Maharaja Hari Singh Hospital, which, as our correspondent went on to mention, is the second largest hospital of Srinagar. It is also located in a, an extremely densely populated area, and patients who come in here are not just from Srinagar, but from neighboring areas as well. And there is a lot of chaos at the moment at the hospital, which is popularly known as the SMHS hospital and reports have said that two policemen have been injured in the shootout where uh, and one of them is critical initial reports that came in said that one of them was even killed in the incident we're still trying to get more clarity on that front but even as the shootout was going on the prisoner has escaped party a protection party was with fire kia had those may a critically injured hai or a injured hai. So eight, one detainee has fled away, rest five we have just uh, taken back to the uh, safe place. Sir, what, what was escaped from? Can you tell that? He is named by Naveed. Naveed. Is he a Pakistani? We are verifying it. Most probably he is he's an outsider. So we are verifying it. We will come up with the details. Sir, is there any red alert? No, red alert. Nahi hai. There is a system in place. After that, it will automatically go back to the city. The city is checking or the NACA system. It comes to the place. We are, we are doing things on it. Well, there you have it. Uh, someone from the police team, they're going on to state that uh, two policemen were injured in the incident. Uh, and one of them is in a critical condition. The initial report that said that one of the policemen was killed is um, untrue, is what has been said. <laughs> Well, this is in fact the big story that we on is tracking this hour. The police officials have confirmed that two people were injured in the incident and both of them police officials who were escorting the suspect were yet to get details on who the suspect really was and uh, militants attacked the police troop who were escorting the suspect inside the hospital. Extremely tense situation being witnessed within the SMHS hospital, which is the second biggest hospital of Srinagar. Not just the hospital, but the surrounding area has also been cordoned off to ensure that those accused in this attack do not escape and uh, they are apprehended at the earliest. Um, as Khalid was mentioning, this is not the first time that uh, Srinagar has been witness to a hospital attack. It has happened in the past, but uh, certainly the shock value remains.
In this particular case, two policemen have been injured. One of the policemen is believed to be in a critical condition. Well, the valley has been going through some uh, tense times in the recent past.